Hi, this is Sridhar. Today we will, I will explain you how you will load the data which is present in the flat file, Windows flat file. How you will load the data from the Windows flat file into the Oracle database without using the SQL loader. Using SQL loader, you know very well that you can insert the data from the flat file into the table, but using util file concept using the util file inbuilt oracle package also you can read the line from the windows flat file and then load the data into the oracle database or uh, input uh, input data is in c colon temp if you give this there are nearly five data and uh, three columns these data are present in employee.csv i am going to load this data into EMP table which is present in our in my database so for this I already explained you about the util file file function util file dot f open it will open the file if it is a new file or existing file anyway you have to open the file using this file handler f open and the location where the file resides it resides in c colon slash temp I have created this directory for c colon slash temp user dar and the name of the file my name uh, name of the file is input file is employee.csv which is already present here <coughs> sorry and I am going to read the file since I am going to read the file my file mode should be r if I am going to write then w and if I am going to insert then a like that I am going to read the file contents so I am using file mode as R. So I am going to read the line each each line one by one and the same line I am going to insert that line into my table. So for that I am going to read the line. So to read to read the line I am using the get line function which is present in util file. Util file dot get line of the file handler that is emp file is the file handler comma the variable v1. v1 is the varchar2 variable in this variable i am going to hold the line hold the content of the file that is each line by line from the file employee.csv into this variable v1 so first line what is the first line in the first iteration the first line will be stored in v1 and in the second iteration the second line will be stored like that for each iteration line by line all the records will be processed from the input file employee.csv and I am just uh, printing this line let me execute till this and I am going to explain you the remaining statements also let me execute before that clear the output Yes, completed. You got this. Uh, you got the output. The output is you are printing all the lines from the given input file. The input file is this one employee or CSV. The input file is 199, 200, 201, and 202, and 203. All the lines are printed here. But I want to print this line into my into my s file EMP into the EMP table. My EMP table also looks like the same that is employee ID, first name and last name. There are three columns present in my EMP table. So I want to insert all these data into my EMP table. So for that what you have to do, we have to insert this value. To insert this value, what I am doing, I am searching for this character comma and if the comma is present I am replacing comma by single quotes comma single quotes let me show you separately I am searching for this comma if comma is present then what I am doing I am replacing this comma by single quotes comma and again single quotes so I'm doing the same for all the commas comma is replaced by single quotes comma single quotes so how the data looks like now the data looks like 199 close single quotes comma open single quotes 
the first name close single quotes comma open single quotes and the last name and there is no open and close single quotes there is no open single quotes here there is no open single quotes here and the close single quotes here so only these single quotes i am explicitly adding before inserting into the table that's what these two statements did select replace i am replacing the comma by single quotes comma single quotes here using the replace command replacing the content present in the variable v1 what i am replacing i am replacing the comma by single quotes comma and single quotes and i am storing this value into v2 variable and then next statement is i am creating the sql statement like insert into the table emp values open parenthesis and open single quotes these values are not here in the replace in the replace these values are not there so i am explicitly adding the adding the line insert into emp values open parenthesis and open single quotes and again pipelining that is concatenating to the v2 variables value v2 variable value v2 variable value holds this one and again close single quotes is not there so again i am putting pipelining close single quotes and the insert statement should be completed by putting the close parenthesis again i am putting the close parenthesis and closing the single quotes here let me show you by printing the statement alone i am not inserting now clear run now the output is this is my first line and this is my first insert statement insert into the table values open parenthesis open single quotes value close single quotes again last again close single quotes close parenthesis my insert statement is now ready so the next statement is what i am doing i am doing the dynamic sql dynamic uh, executing the insert statement using execute immediate execute immediate the sql statement whatever the sql statement we have written here that statement will be executed here normally the executes immediate will be used for running ddl statements inside the pl sql but if you are creating this kind of insert statement dynamically inside the pl sql then in that case also you can use this execute immediate execute immediate the sql statement now i am running this let me check before running the content select star from the target table that is emp there are no values now i am executing i am inserting the content into emp table and i will show you clear the output run it's completed let me check here the values are inserted so in this way the values present in the flat table the values present in the flat file will be inserted can be inserted into my database without using the sql loader so in this way also you can load the values even you can also manipulate while loading but that is not covered here so without using the sql loader also you can load the values from flat file to your database thanks for watching bye